I'm JC Anderson Kubert and I'm the owner of the brand Band of Weirdos. I make and sell pins, patches, stationery like stickers and greeting cards and other little gifty items and things like that. But I thought I'd start by showing you around my studio a bit and then I'm gonna go pack some orders. So let's do this. Okay, so first, this is my desk. This is where I am most of the time, like looking out the windows, spying on the neighbors, spying on the mailman, pretending I'm not home if the door rings, you know, all that stuff. Here's my laptop and label printer. Here's the studio assistant. She's working super hard today. I mean, we gotta stop and take a moment to appreciate the crystals. Ooh. Swing. And then up here, more knickknacks. All the little things, which I'll show you maybe another time in more detail. More knickknacks over here. I really like the word knickknacks, so I've been saying it a lot lately. Uh, tiny Beyonce on a pencil eraser top or thing, you know. I got some more books to bring up to put up here. This is Hermie. He just changed shells last night and he recently molted. And if you want to know about hermit crabs or talk about hermit crabs, just ask. So this is my greeting card storage and I'm working on more ideas. So I want to actually make this whole thing just greeting cards down the line. But right now there's some keychains, earrings, which if you want to see this stuff in more detail, go to bandofweirdos.com because there's too much to show you at this moment. Got more jewelry, pet tags, and there's some nail decals. And over here is where I store my shipping boxes and envelopes and stuff like that. And luckily we have a big basement in our house, so there's tons more of this stuff down there and I just kind of bring it up as needed. Oh, X-Files forever. This is my heat press, which I'm gonna figure out how to use in an upcoming video, so I will document that. My work cart, fangs, light. I painted this a few weeks ago and I am really feeling like I'm working on the moon sometimes when I look this way, so mission accomplished. <laughs> Space mission accomplished. And this is my inspiration board, which is definitely something I'll show you more of another time. There is a lot on here, so. I love how it's trying to focus on Broad City faces. <laughs> I have face re recognition on. Now just jump to Wednesday. Um, and you can see my pin collection around the whole outside too, which is really cool. And I'll have to show you who made what in another video or something, because that would take for a freaking ever. And then over here is where, no. excuse my, this is where I take product photos and Instagram photos and stuff like that. Um, I have another one of these lights that sometimes I bring out. Um, I don't really need to if there's a lot of good like daylight going on. But if it's a website photo, I do like to have a light from each side to get a really nice white background. So then in here is where I have all my pins, uh, patches, stickers, and stuff like that. Um, I just have like a pin stuck on the front so I can easily see what it is. And then the bins are full. Well, some of them, <laughs> some are getting kind of low. So here's the pin side. And then we got patches over here. And then there's more patches here, like top rockers and then some big old back patches down there. And then we've got stickers. And over here I've got some things I'm kind of either selling through or that I'm getting low on stock of. Last year I got to do merchandise for the band Garbage. Ooh, there were some teas, which I'll, I will be getting more of. But yeah, just kind of a mix of stuff there. And then up here I've got some bags and fanny packs, which were super fun to make. So I actually sketched the silhouette and made the print too. And that was really fun to work on. There's tons of these in the basement. Some jackets. And then over here is mystery bag stuff, which 
I can't show you because if you order one then you'll know what's in it but there's four different sizes and there's lots of secrets over there <laughs> surprises okay so that's a quick tour of my studio and I'm gonna get to work on some orders let's go so nice whoa those look awesome so basically these are single vinyl sheet versions of my usual two packs so these are paper I usually do paper 
And I originally chose that because I liked the old school feel, like 80s and 90s stickers a lot of times were on these paper sticker sheets. But I like the idea of eventually switching to everything to vinyl because right now I have three inch stickers that are vinyl. And I've seen a lot of people stick them on like their cars, or especially water bottles and stuff like that. So I thought I should probably switch everything over to vinyl. So these on water bottles would be better. So a company called Souvenir, N-E-A-R, they are interested in carrying them in their vending machines. So they have vending machines at, I think it's right now, three different airports. And um, they're opening one in the Cincinnati, Kentucky International Airport. And they were interested in vinyl sheets for their machine. So that's what these are. And it's cool because I'm traveling around the time that they're launching. So I can go sneak pics like a dork. <laughs> and then these are the bags. The stickers should fit in here. Perfect. Oh yeah, I think after the paper stickers are done, I am gonna switch to these because they look really crisp. Cool. So I'll have to get those assembled and shipped out today. Typically my helper slash friend, Catherine, she would assemble things for me, but they have a deadline, so this is a pretty easy assembly. I'm just gonna flip around some scissors, you know. So I'm gonna be able to do that. Don't give me a good excuse to watch some Netflix. <laughs> so this is from Cat Print, which is where I get all my paper goods from. Oh, son of a I'm weak. I'm weak. And, ow. There are peanuts in here, but I just want to tell you all that these are biodegradable. So I used to have a terrarium business called Moss Love, and these melt in water. They're made of starch. It's like if you put them out in the rain, they just melt away. It's awesome. Or if you're sweating and packing a lot of orders, they'll stick to your feet, which is super fun. Got in some new rose quartz backer cards, enamel pins. Ooh, so these are patch backer cards for something that hasn't arrived yet. I'll wait to show you what that's for. And then these are new backer cards for my top rocker patches. Things like this. These are all iron on top rocker. I want to say like one of my brand, not a logo, but like classic. It's not like a dork. Um, but that's one of the best sellers. And this is the newest one from Black Friday. And that was from when I did these two, or I guess this one too, but these two are from a uh, Lady Power collection, which I think there's always stuff like that sprinkled in, but these Rose Quartz cards are for a restock of my Rose Quartz enamel pins, which are part of a crystal themed enamel pin collection. And I just got in a restock of these because they were sold out. I'm really excited with the cute little pink backer too. Love it. So make sure it... Ta-da! This is the back. Cute. So I will be bringing those over to Catherine to have her assemble. Okay. Oh, that's close. Um, okay. So I finished all my orders for the day and I need to go do tax stuff. Well, yeah, I had a lot of fun filming this and I can't wait to start making the next one. I think I'm going to do a product design in it. I have an idea for a new thing, so I'm excited to show you that. Um, but let me know if there's anything that you are interested in seeing, like if you want me to talk about anything in particular or show you how something works. I'm just kind of an open book when it comes to this stuff. I love talking about business. My poor friends and family all know too well. It's like all I talk about, so. Feel free to ask me any questions and I can answer them in an upcoming video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.